Good afternoon, DC. I'm Gracie. And I'm Bree. And today is Wednesday, August 21st, and here's the news. Attention students, you may pick up yearbooks today after school in room 136 until 4 p.m. Chess team will have an organizational meeting after school on Monday, August 26th from 3.30 to 4.30 in room 201. Any students interested in playing chess are encouraged to attend. See Ms. Shafisi if you have any questions. If anyone is interested in joining Robotics Club, please go to room 204 for more information. Tuesday, August 27th is picture day for underclassmen only. Please be on the lookout for a flyer to purchase your school photos. Welcome to Blue's Clues. This information will be found in your handy dandy agenda book. Online. Pantherland, it's a clue. Pantherland, this is Mr. Blue again. Blue has another clue for you, all right? However, I want to make sure I explain this. Blue messed up. Bad dog blue. Bad dog blue. All right? He brought y'all a clue yesterday about the book bags, and that was a wrong clue. I want to make sure I explain this, all right? On page 27 in our hand, uh, handy dandy discipline handbook, all right? Uh, um, book bags. All backpacks, book bags, large purses will need to be placed in a student's locker during the school day. Okay? That includes the mesh and the clear. Alright? So again, all book bags, purses, large purses, large purses. Alright? They need to go into a student's locker. I think Blue supplied y'all with a clue yesterday on Tuesday. Uh, and it was a wrong clue. He was just trying to see if y'all were paying attention. Okay, so I want to make sure I clarify that again. On page 27, all backpacks, book bags, and large purses need to go in a student's locker during the school day. See you all. Students, are you interested in student government, petitions for class officers, president, vice president, sec secretary, treasurer and reporter for the 2019-2020 school year are available from Ms. Borman in the Student Services Office. They are be to return to the Student Services by 3.30 on Friday, August 30th. Campaigning is August 30th through September 6th. Elections are Friday, September 6th. And any questions, see Mr. Crop in room 225. Attention freshmen! Petitions for Freshman Student Council representatives for the 2019-2020 school year will be available at a required meeting of all candidates at 745 on Thursday, August 22nd in room 228. They are to be returned to Mr. Crop in room 225 by 3.30 on Friday, August 30th. Campaigning is August 30th through September 6th. Elections are Friday, September 6th. Freshmen, this is your chance to make your voice heard on issues here at DCHS. Any questions, see Mr. Crop, room 225. Attention students, you can still register for the September 14th ACT, but late fees will be applied. Students can register at actstudent.org or see guidance for more information. The DCHS open house will be held on Thursday, September 5th. More information to come. If you're interested in going on a spring break trip to Paris, Normandy, and London, there will be an informational meeting on Thursday, August 29th at 6 o'clock in room 213. Here at DCHS, want to travel for free? If 10 more people sign up by September 6th, someone will win a free spot on the trip, but you have to be signed up to be eligible. See Mr. Easley in room 213 for more information and pick up a brochure. Attention sophomores, juniors, and seniors. If you are interested in being part of the DCHS Y Club this year, there will be an informational meeting on Wednesday at 3.30 in Mr. Easley's room. Come here about plans for KYA, CUNA, and so much more. If you want to be involved but can't attend the meeting, please see Mr. Easley, Mrs. Iglehart, or Mr. Thompson for information. Now, stay tuned for another edition of Pippin's World. Pippin's World. Pippin's World. Pippin's World. 
Ladies and gentlemen, back for another week. Always excited, always thankful to Coach Hall that he keeps renewing my contract. What you don't know is uh, I get paid the big, big bucks to do this little segment on the news. And every time I do it, I'm always a little nervous. Like, will Coach Hall be happy with that? He's, do, he's in charge of the news. But then within minutes of it airing, I get a contract renewal, and it's got like six figures on there. So once a week, it's outstanding. Keep it coming, Coach Hall. I appreciate it. So, hey, I hope your week has gone well. For those of you that started your dual credit classes this week, uh, I was on campus on Monday and Tuesday. I was there to help you all, uh, and you all found me. It was outstanding. I hope that was a, a, a valuable asset for you to have me down there to help you navigate uh, the campus of OCTC. Uh, I really think that this is going to be a great semester. We have so much, so many great things going on in our dual credit and concurrent enrollment programs, and we're really proud of all of you that are participating and pursuing that rigorous dual credit coursework and uh, earning college credit while you are still in high school at a hugely reduced tuition cost. So does it get any better than that? That's outstanding. So. Um, the other thing I want to let you know of, we have some, we're already in planning for our kids on campus trips for our juniors and seniors that we're going to be visiting college campuses and putting you on those campuses so that you can look around, walk around. We usually get food there and they feed us so you can know what their cafeterias are like and all that good stuff. So keep your eyes and ears open for all of that. Um, so I'm excited, and I hope you are, because this year is rocking and rolling, and it's going super smoothly, and everything is great. If you need me, you know where to find me in my new location, and we are going to be ready to rock and roll as we continue the rest of the year. So, again, if you need me, email me, call me uh, on my office line. Your teacher knows how to call me if you need to come see me, and we'll get you ready to rock. So have a great day, everybody, and go Panthers. Attention seniors, save the date. Join us on September 17th for our annual County to College Night. Each year we welcome admissions representatives and offer an evening college fair for our Davis County families. In addition to meeting with colleges, you can hear important information about how to make your transformation from county to college as smooth as possible. Don't know where to get started with the college application process? Want to know more about how to apply for scholarships? Want to visit lots of colleges but feel like you are running out of time? This is the night for you and your parents slash guardians. Oh, and pizza will be provided by the U.S. Army. And door prizes sponsored by our Youth Service Center that may give you a start in your future dorm room needs. We hope to see the entire senior class and their parents at County to College. Now, stay tuned for a word from FCCLA. Here's what happened. Here's what is happening today at DC. Boys soccer versus Bowling Green JV at seven. Stay classy, DC.